Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera. I am Nur Fazlina Mama Fadil from University Sultan Zainal Abidin Terengganu. In this presentation, I would like to share about a topic titled Use of Information Technology in Women Academicians Work-Life Balance. I am going to talk about four main sections which are the background and problem, methodology, research findings and contribution and conclusion. Background and problem. Information technology IT has been a primary means of communication that enables people in different geographical areas and even near locations to communicate across time and space. Despite this being an essential advantage of IT use, IT brings consequences for employees, especially women, who may have to use this technology and continue working late in the evening, bringing their work back home, and at the same time, taking care of their family and children. This can significantly affect some of the women's work-life balance. Moreover, despite the changes IT has brought into people's lives as an enabler in the workplace, there is a lack of understanding of the use of IT in women academicians' work-life balance. Given this background, this research aims to investigate the use of IT among women academicians on their work-life balance by focusing on the following main research question. How is IT used in the work-life balance of women academicians. Methodology. This research employs a qualitative interpretive research methodology with a single case design with embedded multiple units of analysis. The strength of the case study includes its ability as an empirical inquiry that investigates a modern phenomenon within its real life context regarding the role IT plays in the work-life balance of women academicians. A public higher education institution is chosen as the case study with two public universities as multiple units of analysis. The changing landscape in the workforce in Malaysia also contributes to the case selection. In Malaysia, women's participation in the labour workforce accounts for just over 53% with a high probability of opting out from work commitment between the late 20s to early 30s, usually due to family matters. Based on these aspects, this research is set to be conducted in a public university in Malaysia with participation from women academicians. Research Findings Table 1 presents IT activities for each of the three broad themes of work domain, family domain and community in the context of work-life balance. For work domain, the activities performed using IT are teaching and learning, research publication and administrative. For family domain, the activities performed using IT are daily routines, paying utilities and family entertainment. For community domain, the activities performed using IT are more towards conversation about hobbies and personal life. In this research context, the border crosser refers to women academicians who can manage and utilize IT among the three aspects of work, family and community. Research Findings Figure 2 reveals the findings of the three emerging themes and answers the question, how is IT used in women's academicians' work-life balance? Three key emerging themes for boundary management skills were identified from the analysis. The themes for the integration among work, family and community domains towards the work-life balance are networking, organizing skills and time management. The findings reveal that these three themes are the mechanism that enables IT to be used by women academicians to achieve the work-life balance. To balance between family and community, networking skill is needed. 
Networking refers to the well-being and social relationships such as long-distance family and close friends. The IT used to support networking is via WhatsApp, video call, and Facebook. To balance between community and work, organizing skill is needed. Organizing skills refers to the ability to organize one's time, activity, and situation. The IT used to support organizing skills is mobile app such as digital planner and schedule. And then next, to balance between work and family, time management is needed. Time management refers to the ability to allocate time for an activity and the IT used to support time management is such as WhatsApp group, mobile phone calendar and also reminder. These findings unpack the black box of the how questions in which the boundary management skills identified are the key elements that enable the utilization of IT in the borderland areas to achieve work-life balance for women academicians. With those skills, women academicians could maximize information technology appropriately, thus attaining work-life balance. Contributions and Conclusions this research has three theoretical contributions and three practical implications. For theoretical contributions, first, the research findings add to the literature on how information technology can play a role in women academicians of higher learning institutions. Second, this research also contributes to the body of knowledge in applying the work family border theory to women academicians' work-life balance in higher education institutions. Third, the research found three emerging themes of borderland areas with border management skills, which are family work area, that is time management skill, and family community area, that is networking skills, and work community area, that is organizing skills, which answer the research questions of how is IT used in the work-life balance of women academicians. For practical implications, this research is significant to academic institutions and women academicians. First, this study provides evidence on how IT is used and its impact on women academicians' work-life balance. Also, the research findings contribute to lessons learned for women academicians in preparing themselves for better work-life balance. Second, public university management may revise work responsibilities assigned to women academicians for work-life balance and well-being. Third, this research has offered valuable insights into how women academicians could utilize IT and reconcile their work and personal life commitments, which in turn prevent the adverse effects of work-life imbalance through, among others, the boundary management skills identified. Conclusion such integration or boundary management could be achieved by utilizing information technology with appropriate type of technology, time management, networking, and organizing skills. These skills identified in this research are deemed necessary, thus could be used as a blueprint for public university management to understand and interpret the role of information technology within the nature and dynamics of the work family and community domains of women academicians towards sound work-life balance. Thank you so much and see you again. Assalamualaikum and Salam Sejahtera. Bye.